Um, okay, this problem is called uh, picking numbers. I will try to solve it in JavaScript. I already did, but uh, yeah, I'll try to explain my solution. So, um, given an array of integers, find and print the maximum number of integers you can select from the array such that the absolute difference between any two of the chosen integers is less than or equal to one. For example, uh, if your array is this, the two possible um, sets that match that criteria is uh, the two ones and the two twos and these numbers here and the maximum length of the two subarrays is five so they will print five uh, to be honest the first time i read this question i didn't understand and i wrote a solution which, which was completely wrong uh, but basically uh, this line here which where they tell you the absolute difference between any two of the chosen integers is less than or equal to one. Uh, that means you need to find um, a, a couple of integers that if you subtract each one of them, your your the absolute of that abs subtraction will be um, less than or equal to zero. Which means if the absolute difference between the subtraction is zero or one, it, it's it's less than one means the only possible uh, values is 0 or 1 because uh, yeah the only possible value is 0 or 1 and um, the second thing is uh, the more so th the second thing uh, if you subtract two numbers and the only possible values is 0 or 1 uh, this tells us that these two numbers they either equal to each other which makes us the result is 0 and uh, or the value or sorry the difference between them is one which makes it yeah so for example that's why they in the second subset they choose the four and the five and all the occurrences of them so the differences between the four and the five is one and four with four is zero five is so five with five is zero as well so uh, the one thing to solve this question is to know how many times each number appears in the array and by doing this, um, the maximum number that appears in the array might be the solution, the maximum number of the subset that matches that criteria, or this number or this number of occurrences uh, plus the number before it. So, if for example, here five is the most number that appeared in the array, and four is the second. So 4 and 2 and 1, they all appear two times. But since 5 minus 4 is 1, that apply to our criteria. So the number of occurrences of 5 plus the number of occurrences of 4 is the answer, which is 5. Um, so let's, t let's look at this example. So the number of elements is 6, and these they are. So 1 appears one time, 3 appears two times, and 4 appears one time. Uh, if you calculate the e each number, how many times it appears, and try to plus uh, the next element to it, which if you subtract them, there will be one, uh, and find the maximum of that, you will find the solution. So three appears two times, and four one time, so three plus one, uh, sorry, so three appears two times, four appears one time, so two plus one is four. Um, and this solution as well, uh, one appears two times, and the three... Uh, two times, three times, sorry. So two plus three is five, which is the answer. And three here appears one time. So all the possible solutions could be uh, the number of occurrences of one plus the number of occurrences of two, which is five. And then if we will continue the loop and uh, we'll calculate the number of occurrences of two plus the number of occurrences of three. Uh, so that is, that is uh, four, which is not the maximum. So I will print 5. Uh, I think that's it uh, for the solution. And I will try to now to explain it in the code. Um, so I will use a Quackajazz to show you the examples. So first thing, I will create an array called this. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find a way to do it like in two lines, maybe in JavaScript, e even in Python. But I, I will try to make the most obvious solution. So and for each element inside my array, I will just... Uh, save its uh, occurrences in the correct index that represented in the result array. 
so what I will do I will uh, so res of the index e which is the value of the number uh, I, will, I will just put one and keep incrementing uh, it if each time I find the index so plus one but this won't work because at the first time the value of by if we try to in, if we tried to access this index we will get undefined so what I will do I will so if this is undefined just put zero plus one this is it so result now let me just show you how what result will contain so this is an example um, this is the array I am passing I need to find the maximum number that matches the criteria so this is how the result array now looks like uh, the zero index contain nothing because it does not occur in the array the one index which represents the one number appears one time so one in the array on line seven appears one time and two didn't appear so nothing and the number three appeared two times so that's why we have two at index, index three and five four six appear one time so that's it uh, th that's a big part of the solution and the next thing we need to find the maximum between the summation for each position with the previous and the next uh, so we don't need to because um, if this index represent number number one and this index represent number two we only care about the numbers the number itself or the number itself uh, subtracted by the next or previous because that's matches our criteria that's a, the absolute abstraction the absolute subtraction between these two numbers should be equal to zero or one um, I, I hope this is clear um, so next thing I will do I will create a variable called max max you can assign it to zero but I will put negative infinity um, so result for each I will loop through it and I will use the each element and the index and const I will create a variable co called may be max it will be equal to the element itself so the number of occurrences of each element we are passing by a plus uh, result the result array of i plus one but if you think about it uh, sometimes the uh, the number of occurrences of a specific element might itself be the answer because uh, let's assume that the number one here appears some yeah I have an example of that for that so the number of one here appears eight times but if you take example our result array the next element is undefined it does not contain any value it's undefined and the previous element which is zero so zero and two does not appear in the array so if, if we try to now um, let, let me just compare if, so if maybe max bigger than max so max could will be just the new value and and the just return max and max is four which is wrong they show they showed us the eight values eight appears four times the it gave us this because at some point when we reached uh, the number of occurrences of one which is eight we tried to plus the number of occurrences to the next element which is undefined this produces an an and then so this produces an an the first time and it did not uh, get it did not evaluate this condition to true because uh, none is not bigger than mag negative infinity even zero even if you put zero here same same result um, so what you need to do you need to check if the next value is undefined just plus zero so like this so now we have eight which is one itself so the number of occurrences one is the solution itself so like this we covered all the uh, possible solutions uh, or the possible cases sorry but if, if you want to see um, so this it's hard to look at this uh, as the index and value uh, a cool thing you can do in JavaScript, so you can use object dot uh, entries and give it the res array and print z. So the index one appears eight times, since uh, each everything, not everything, almost everything in JavaScript is an object. So arrays are objects, and when you put it to the entries, they will give you the index and the value. So in our case, one appears eight times, three two times, four two times. Um, and obviously you don't need to filter the array you didn't need to remove the undefined because undefined represents something valuable in our solution 
you just need to handle them like this uh, i hope it's clear uh, to be honest this uh, this question was a uh, little bit uh, confusing for me uh, but eventually uh, i obviously googled how to solve this uh, <laughs> and uh, try to understand it as much as i could and if you if you look into the discussions um you would see some people I, I saw some guy that uh, solves it in two lines in javascript which was very interesting uh, he uses he used uh, a set and things like that so yeah we ac got accepted but uh, it's a good idea to look into the discussions and see how other people solved it um so yeah it's a really interesting solution yeah question uh, this guy was confused like me <laughs> uh yeah, this is Python solution. Oh, yeah, I didn't get this question at the first time, which made me sad.